Hi traders, hi YouTube fans. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use, using the trading view charts, how to set up a moving average crossover strategy with an alert. So that, that way, you get alerts on your phone or on your screen if you happen to be sitting there and know when it's a good time to go, go take a trade and sit at your desk and stuff like that. The tools that we're gonna be using is we're gonna use obviously TradingView as our charting platform. We're gonna download an indicator. There's a ton of free indicators, a lot of shared indicators. So I'm gonna show you a link, couple of links on where to find these things, how to search them. Well, I'm just gonna share you a link for an indicator that is a dual moving average basically indicator. But what is cool about some of these, these guys that script them is they have buy and sell signals when these moving averages cross. In the example of a 20, 200 moving average, now you can use any numbers that you guys want, okay? We're gonna use 20 and 200, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a skew. I'm gonna make a special price skew on the 20 so that it actually tracks the actual price. For example, anywhere between a two and a four, and you can test this and tweak this out and things such on your own, so that whenever prices really cross on top of the actual 200, you get the alert more on time versus lagging. Because we all know, guys, at the end of the day, all indicators are lagging, right? How can we make them more uh, responsive and immediate? Is we make these adjustments using technology. In replace of this 20, I'm gonna add another 20 for visual purposes, for tracking your trade, for getting in pullbacks if you miss the trade, so, so on and so on. And that's what we're gonna do. Now, one heads up guys, just like most professional traders already know this, but to confirm with you, uh, most people that use one indicator at least try to use some different kind of confirmations or confluence, okay? For example, multi time frames. If you're a short term time day trader, are you using a, maybe a 15 minute and a three minute? And then what is your alert gonna be set up on? If you're a swing trader, are you using four hours, two hours, or maybe the one hour? What are you gonna set up your alert on? Okay, uh, there's other things such as level. Some people trade support resistance. Obviously, it's very vital in the trading industry uh, to look at supply and demand, right? It's fundamental 101. Um, and you know, maybe another indicator like a super trend. Super trend indicators are really nice. They, they use ATR, an ATR average to range of, a, of a, the actual instrument at its specific time frame can help you get in and out of trades, maybe help you set stop losses if a trade isn't going your way. So always remember to use multi uh, kind of time frame or another kind of way of confluence or con confirmation, not just one simple indicator until you get really good at what you're doing. Once you get really good at understanding your strategy, you may not even need other things at all. You keep it real simple and real clean. So we're gonna get to the screen. I'm gonna show you guys which indicator to download. In this example, I'm gonna do it on Forex pairs. Forex is a pretty popular thing out there in the retail community. You know, us personally and our team, we do futures, future spreads, and such like that, but we also do Forex because the fact that the strategies are pretty, um, pretty much the same when it comes down to setups. So there's a lot of volume in these things, and so you can get a lot of good price action. So we're gonna use the um, maybe six, seven, or eight different examples. I'll do it on all the US I'm sorry, the Forex majors, which is all the pairs that have the dollar involved. So I'll do about a series of examples so you can see how I'm doing it and you can set it up yourself after. OK, so we'll use that and uh, let's get to the screen. All right. So let's get on right into it. Um, let me first make sure I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete all of my other alerts because I had some other plan I was doing here with 20 minute charts. I'm going to set up all my stuff on a one hour chart to go off on all US pairs on a on a cross, okay? And so in the meantime, too, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and get this link, pause it if you need to, or maybe I'll try to put it in the uh, description under this video. But this link right here, or look for this guy, XAVZ, HAVZ, whatever, alerts, MA cross 11. Now you can find any kind of them. What I found is sometimes some of them don't work. The scripting, if you start changing things. Um, so, you know, I had to go through a few to find some that are perfect, that, that don't, you know, crash. But anyway, what you want to just do is add to your favorite scripts, okay? These are just basically moving average crossover alerts that this person has actually built this one pretty uh, in detail. So, you know, this stuff is going to be a good one. So, anyway... I'm going to add it to your script. When you add that to your script, 
inside of your favor in your uh, indicators it will be in there okay it'll be a favorite so go ahead and again download this I mean I'm add it to your favorites scripts and then we'll we'll go ahead and get on into it starting with now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring up my um, pairs now I normally trade uh, future spreads I use a pretty professional institutional tool like this called futures plus uh, it's designed by trading technologies it's an institutional platform and I trade my future spreads through here but I also you know I do a lot of other things uh, we do outright futures and because I'm a trade station client I integrate it with these charts I also have a small very small Forex account I've been trying to play with that here so we're gonna use all the Forex majors euro USD AUD USD whatever the lesson of this video isn't to uh, teach you guys anything about Forex it's just to uh, show you how to download this alert a moving average double alert, uh, moving average strategy we're going to turn it into an alert system so that way you know for example i want to swing trade these things because during the day i'm i'm trading future spreads i'm trading these spreads cattle and hog outright and i'm also looking at uh, micro equities and stuff like that and i can't be on top of it all but i want to i want to have them all so what am i going to do i'm going to make trade trading view my employee and by doing that i'm gonna have this alert that i told you guys to go ahead on and add okay the moving average cross see if i turn it off that's the, the green and the red line so let me go ahead and expand the one hour okay when i turn it off it's not there turn it on there you go that's a 20 and 200 now there's other settings that this gentleman has in here, like that I uncheck, take profit long, take profit short, stop loss, stop loss, short, long and short. I uncheck those. I don't want any extra data on my screen. These long alert completeds, um, I just turn them off. The only ones I want to keep on is my fast moving average, slow moving average, your buy signal, sell signal. Now, what you're going to do is under the inputs, by the way, you can use all kind of different moving averages with this indicator. I'm going to use a simple moving average. And I'm going to turn the 20 into a 3. Now by doing that, watch the price. Watch how now it's overlaying on the price chart, right? on the candlesticks in this case, right? See? I moved the 20. I moved the 20 into... I just wanted to make sure I was recording onto the price. Okay. So then what you're going to do is we don't want to look at it. We don't want to see that. We don't need to see that one, the three moving average. So on, I'm going to delete it, not delete it. I'm sorry. I'm going to make it invisible by unchecking fast moving average. And I, I could only see the slow moving average, which in this case is the 200. So really this is a three in a 200 and then i'm going to set my alert when the three i hope you guys get this is crossing the 200 but how about the other 20 peter well look there may be in the next week i might find a better uh indicator some of you might already have like a triple ema indicator that you can set up all three and make the other one invisible in this case, I added another just a simple moving average from the built-ins indicators. Okay, you just go in here and just type move an average, and you just can get not the exponential. I like to use a simple. It's a little bit less weighted, but anyway, not not that big of a difference. Um, and again, that's not the point of this video. So I'm adding a 20 just by itself, just a basic built-in 20. And that's the blue one, right? So now I have a 20 period moving average. <coughs> okay. But the thing is, too, is a lot of times when the price crosses these, you see in this case here where price crossed on the 18th, the euro US dollar, and it started making uh, over the, it, it, it ranged a little bit around the 200, but as soon as it broke, it broke up momentum. I probably would not have got this alert until uh, quite some time, even a little example here. Okay, I mean this this thing would have never fired off and by the time this thing actually crossed over my price was probably over here somewhere So I want to get it. I want to get them much quicker and that's why I'm turning that other one The, the fast moving average into a three because I'm gonna track the price versus the 20 period moving the 20 period moving is gonna be a visual representation of pullbacks and Getting you know if I miss a trade, how can I get back in you, you on, on a pullback, right? so 
With that said, now I'm going to go ahead and set up the alerts. I'm going to set it off on a one hour. And when you set alerts on TradingView, you want to make sure you set it on the time frame you, you are on. Because if you, uh, you can't change the alert later, you'll have to redo the whole alert based on the time frame. So make sure you're on the time frame. In this case, I'm on the one hour. And I'm going to go ahead and click my alert button up here. And as the condition, I have to pick the alert, the, uh, the uh, indicator first. Do not keep condition on the pair or the instrument. I'm telling the system that on the one hour, I want the three crossover to give me, in this case, he has buy alert and sell alerts in here, and he has all kinds of other things. But the first few are always going to be the indicator owner's uh, uh, proprietary alert stuff, okay, with what he or she has coded. I want to use his or her buy alert and sell alert. So in this case, I have to do two, uh, two separate ones, okay? Some of you guys might have indicators out there that you can do uh, one time when the moving average and you can just pick crosses, um, et cetera. Okay. Or you could, you could do it that way too, uh, perhaps. So right here, when the fast moving average is crossing the slow moving average. Now, what is a slow moving average in this case? The 200. What is our fast moving average that we have invisible? The three, which is basically getting as close to the price as possible. So we can do it this way. So when condition this, Fast moving average, crosses condition, slow moving average, three over the 200. I want to be alerted once that bar, let's say, is closed. I can go, if I want to really hit, have it blow my head up, I can go once per minute. Because remember, this may not occur a lot of the time, unless when we're arranging, you know it's going off a lot on one pair. Because that means that price is contracted. It's in a tight range between the 200 and the 20, and you better be ready for a pop. So you can do once per bar close and just leave everything alone. I can't do open-ended on mine because that's only for premium members. I only have a Pro Plus account. So most of you guys probably only have that anyway. So it gives you by default up to 30 days. So make sure every 30 days you've got to come in here and reset things. Uh, unless you are a premium member, then you can open-end it. And until you kill the whole alert or delete it, then it's always going to run. And you want it to notify on the app and show a pop-up. And the app is basically your mobile app. I don't send an email to myself because that's overdoing it. That's overkill. If I have my phone with me all the time anyway, I just notify on the app. is good enough. And I delete everything within the parentheses just to keep it clean because I don't need long alerts. And I just want to be told that when the moving, uh, the moving average cross is, has happened already, on the, the Euro USD on the one hour, okay? So this is one setup and I hit create. And here in my alert box, this is saved. It's a green little dot over here. This means that it's active. If I wanna pause it, if I'm going on vacation or dinners, if I'm day trading and I have these on three minute charts, your phone's going off all day long. You know, I'm pretty, pretty guarantee you. So you could just pause it. And you can pause them and it'll give you a little red, uh, dot here that is temporarily paused turn it back on you just re hit restart okay so i'm gonna hit the down key and i'm gonna go through the other pairs and i'm gonna do that real quick but see now i've saved make sure you save your moving average crossover strategy so you're gonna get really nice uh alerts i mean look at the last time this thing fired off guys on the 18th of may this pair aud usd the dollar has been weak um obviously this thing just took off, you know, and we're talking mega pips. I mean, since the time this took off, you would have caught this thing. You know, you're up 300, 16 days later, you're up 300 pips. And this is currently going on for a lot of the uh, pairs against the dollar. So right now, um, had you been on the right side since mid-May, you've been making some pretty good dough if you're following just maybe this strategy, um, which a lot of people I think are. So in this case, again, I'm going to do it again, the moving average. When, it, when the fast crosses the slow moving average once per bar close, I just want to be notified. Um, we'll do it that way and just get rid of that so it's nice and clean. Okay? And then just keep doing it on the same thing. And again, look at all these pairs. Again, you would have had some alerts here. But you would have had an opportunity to... Uh, figure out whatever your strategy is, whatever your price action entry strategy is. But it doesn't matter if you even got caught up in a little bit of a train wreck here. Here when this occurred, you would have been you would have been good. Here when this downtrend happened, you would have been good. 
you would have probably got an alert here because again we're tracking price uh, it may have come up the three invisibly here never touched it so you know it's a good way to um, get early signals and get in and out of these things uh, of course when things get choppy be prepared to get a lot of alerts okay so again I'm gonna do one more when the uh, three crosses over the slow ones per bar close on US dollar Japanese yen on my one hour chart and just keep doing that through all your pairs I'll keep doing it again crossing just like that okay guys so I hope you guys got the point uh, I have like probably three pairs left here for the majors and then I'll be done with these alerts um, I also myself personally play different stuff different strategies different indicators like uh, Ichimoku clouds and stuff and so it helps me kind of see it see trends in a different way as you see I use it in futures and it does really well even on spreads depending on kind of um, volume candles and settings I'm using here because I have tick data in my professional system uh, this stuff does not it's time-based it's a little bit more chop um, you know but in the futures where we can count volume on the right platforms things are so fluid I mean we're making massive tick moves and stuff like that so you got to have each market you know you have to finesse it and get the right setting for it that fits you too fits your personality and stuff like that and fits your um, account size and and things so i hope this video helped you guys and uh again that was the moving average crossover alerts on trading view that's about it have a good one